work in this ditch here and I went up and down it two or three times and over here up on the hill right there where my truck is used to be an old schoolhouse in the 1800s and I was crossing the ditch going back over to that hill and I got a funny noise so I checked it out and this is going to be a shield nickel you can see the five on there so I'm gonna clean it up as best I can but that's uh, 1867 maybe I don't know I don't remember the dates on these but yeah that's a shield nickel I'll take it okay that's as clean as I'm gonna get it here in the field the other side is pretty bad I don't I can't quite see the date but that's uh, a nice find for an old school site on to the next okay this was hitting an 83 I thought it was going to be a coin I don't know if you can see that right there I don't know what this is going to be maybe a horse rosette or something I'm not really sure so let me get it out yeah, it's in there pretty good. And uh, I'll show you what I got. Well, that's it. The lantern part. It was upside down. It's got the wheel on it. It's quite bent. Probably a patent date of 1867 or something like that. Usually that's what they are. All right. There's a relic. Yay, button. Plain flat button. Nice one though. Nice shank. Probably 1840s. Maybe, maybe a little earlier. I don't know. Hard to tell. Okay, this is uh, a little. This is a little crazy. I just found two of these up in Addison County, and now I'm down in Rutland County. I've never found one of these before. And this is the third one now. And I have no idea what these are. They're lead. They look like a square nail. And that is amazing. That I've never seen these before uh, last week. And now I've just dug another one. What? 30, 40 miles away? Crazy. Open. Uh, shoe buckle frame open frame shoe buckle, but there's no pin connection. So I don't know what this is Interesting well I'm working around this big old barn and uh, This is actually at an 18 uh, 40s house Hoping for older, but I'll take this little rosy 1952 year I was born. Woohoo! Silver! Right by the barn again. I just got me a nice old range guide. That rang up 90. Beautiful. Okay, I'm out in one of my favorite fields that I like to frequent once in a while. And I haven't pulled this out, but it looks like possibly a horse rosette. That's what I'd call it. I don't know if it's going to have any design or just looks plain, but you can see that backing right there. That's pretty much how they were made. It went, somehow the leather went through there like a bridal rosette and they prettied up the horses so I'll keep going doesn't look like there's anything on this one but that's a nice relic okay before this thing falls apart it's like I pulled a a little pewter button and that's the back of it you can see the sides 
and it might have something on it and I haven't figured that out yet but uh, it definitely looks like it's got something on it so oh 26 yes I've got another one out of this field with a 26 I believe that's 26 regiment And it's pewter, so it's old. So, not sure if this is a patriotic one that came later. Looks like it almost has a seven over here. Here, let me put it down. Here. Here it is, 26. Nice. Nice button. Well, I didn't get out till late, just before the sun went down. I'm walking through this field, and I went over this target, and it sounded scratchy, and I don't know, I thought it was just another bottle top or something. And I walked away 15 feet, came back, and something was talking to me about this signal. And look at that. That to me looks like a 69 caliber dropped musket ball. And I am on a farm between Crown Point and Fort Ticonderoga. So I think there was activity in this area. And that is a big musket ball. So I'm glad I went back for that one. All right, maybe I'll get lucky before it gets dark. Woohoo! Okay, along the button fence line, I've got, uh, I think, another button right here. Yep. Plain old flat button. Today, there's nothing on it. I'm going to keep looking though. For some reason, I found a lot of buttons right along this area right here. Okay, let's keep working it. Button fence does it again. I think I got me a nice tom back right there. Oh, let me dig it out with a shovel. There we go. Is it going to have a design on it? Ooh, look at that one. Beautiful tomback. It's got the shank. Look at that button. Well. Can't be playing that big, can it? Let me see. Let me clean that dirt blob off. I think there's a design under there. Be right back. That is hard. Oh, and there's that one wrong. It's plain, but ooh, it's a nice one. Nice uh, DND size Tom back. Full shank. I'll keep that one. Beautiful. Look at that thing. Woo! 